On March 11, 1999, a group of engineers who had started a tech company in 1981 marked a milestone. Infosys became the first Indian company to list on USA stock exchange, the NASDAQ. As the founding team of the company led by N.R. Narayanamurthy stood at the podium, little would they have imagined how things were going to change. The journey here for the company and the Indian software sector that it represented was significant, but it was nothing compared to what would come next. The story of India's software industry can be split between what happened before 2000 and after. For the two decades before, Indian tech companies offered their software services to global clients. However, in the run-up to the new millennium year 2000, a new problem and an opportunity emerged. Across the world, there were fears that when the clock ticked past the midnight hour on the 1st of January 2000, computers across the world would crash as they would not be able to transition to the new four-digit year. Most of the computers were built on software developed in the 1960s and 70s and so marked the years in two digits, say 98 or 99. A four-digit year, as in 2000 or 2001, had not been worked in. A crash would mean unprecedented chaos across the world. This tech crisis that the world was hurtling towards came to be famously called the Y2K crisis and Indian software companies that were familiar with the old language that had been used in making early computers were able to pitch in. So, as the US and NASDAQ were still recovering from the dot-com bust of the 1990s, Indian software firms were seeing a transformation. By the end of the 1990s, Indian software engineers were working on the back end to ensure that a host of companies from banks, airlines, retailers and insurance firms were protected from Y2K. While the crisis finally blew over without the anticipated chaos, the year 2000 marked an important turning point for the Indian IT software companies and how the world saw them. The shift is visible when you look at the numbers. In 1997, India's software exports had just crossed the $1 billion mark. But within four years, this figure went up six times to $6.2 billion which is also nothing compared to the nearly $150 billion that this industry rakes in through exports today. The Y2K opportunity paved the way for Indian software companies to break into the big league and manage and set up technology solutions for a slew of global giants. This period also saw many of the world's largest companies, especially financial services companies, outsource their back office work to business process outsourcing of BPO companies based in India, while others shifted their entire back offices here. The Indian IT industry played a critical role in the making of modern India. Led by a generation of technopreneurs or technology entrepreneurs, this industry created jobs at a scale that was unprecedented, transforming cities and creating new ones. What made the Indian software revolution even grander was the opportunities it created for the educated middle classes of India who until the 1990s had limited opportunities of employment. Concepts like employee stock options or ESOPs created a wave of dollar millionaires who in time turned entrepreneurs themselves, creating even more wealth. While the turn of the 20th century had seen the Indian subcontinent divided and bruised, Facing famine, strife and a drain of wealth that had been quantified for the first time by Dada Bhai Naroji, the turn of the 21st saw a very different India. Some problems persisted, but it was confidently taking on the world. The hundred years in between were marked by many ups and downs, highs and lows. But what a distance had been covered in the making of modern India.